that you finished the uh, uh, the uh, checker. Yeah. Right? Detailed on the checker. Looks great, looks yeah. great. It's right back there. Yep. But today we're going to the uh, the Woody's at the Beach in Santa Barbara. Yeah. For the, uh, I think the third time? Fourth time? Uh, third or fourth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's gonna yeah, be a great it's show. never enough though, it's yeah. awesome. 2019 yeah. show, uh, gonna be 125 Woody's and us. That's it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, that's, that's cool. That's a lot. But we're going to the Murphy Museum. We're gonna pick up the 48 Woody yeah. from there. And we're gonna take that. Uh, drop off the uh, checker, and then I'm driving the uh, Chevy Malibu over here, which is right over there. And we're gonna pick up the Tornado. We're, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're gonna play yeah. with the Tornado. Start working on that. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be yeah. really cool. Yeah. Uh, Don's in the car. You're in the car. I'm in the car. No, we're not. We're going to Starbucks first. Yeah, yeah. we're in the parking lot.
We are back with Mike Miller. Uh, this is the 2019 Woody's at the Beach. Or the Santa Barbara Woody's at the Beach. I don't know what the official title is. But Santa Barbara Woody Club at the beach. At the beach. Uh, kind of not even at the beach, but with a view of the beach. Absolutely. Uh, right. So you have this Woody, which you've been driving for quite some time. Yes. Purchased in uh, 1964. I've been able to drive it as my senior year of high school, which <laughs> dates me terribly. Yeah. yeah. And it's but anyway, here. 55 years. Uh, right. Through a lot of ins and outs, the military uh, had, had it in the garage for three years during uh, during the 70s, and uh, they took a back seat to remodeling the house. And the best story would have been my daughter's wedding. Yeah. This was in a site in the Ohio Valley in an orchard. Uh, okay, you can imagine the majestic oak trees as the background. I grew up in Ohio. Oh so my yeah. God. Yeah. This was the Barnard Ranch, wow. the, which is, my brother-in-law knows him, and he, had, he offered the venue. and. Uh, just that whole afternoon and evening, and, and my nephew escorted my my daughter across the bridge. With yeah. Everyone viewing this, you see, nobody knew the car was even to be around. <laughs> my dad about had a flip because he didn't know either. Yeah, yeah. Surprised everybody with it. And the car was basically uh, remodeled, redone. Yeah. So. show but also lots of classics lots of really interesting stuff i've heard a story i've heard it said i've come to believe that love is a bet sometimes you win it sometimes you lose it sometimes it calls you right in the move come to my table Come to my bed, go easy my hunger, easy my head Bringing me fire, bringing me water, taking me high, taking me down Give 
uh, coming up here today. And I want to thank everybody for coming here to Santa Barbara with, uh, with this showing. These are all your passion. Each each hoodie is just tremendous. Uh, Santa Barbara is very much a part of the surf culture, the history of the surf culture. And you all are uh, here today and celebrating that. So I uh, appreciate everybody coming here today and uh, just the real hospitality and showing off your, your passion with us. And uh, Rick, I, I really uh, learned a lot. Um, just about the history of Woody's and, and uh, each and all the cars. So thank you so much, everyone, for coming here on this great day. Thank you. Easy my hunger, easy my head. Oh, bringing me fire, bringing me water, taking me high, taking me down. Rick, what is up, buddy? This is Ricardo Blanco, otherwise known as Rick White. The, are you the president of the club? I am the president. The president of the Santa Barbara Woody Club. It's good to be president. It is, because then you can you get to wear that hat. I know. I'm the boss. Yes. Uh, See? Yeah, that's right. So how is the show going so far? You know, the show is fabulous. Everybody's having a great time. Mm -hmm. The web is The surf tunes were... Beautiful. Absolutely. And everybody's happy. Yeah. And everybody's That's the whole point, right? And, yeah. You know, I think people miss the idea that if you're going to do a car show, some of you are out there and you want to do a car show, is that the venue itself, the location, is as important as the car. Yes. You know, yes. you want to, want to put it, I mean, it's a place you would go to just because it's beautiful even without the cars. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And that's what we have here. Thank but you. you put on a spectacular show, man. Thank you. Oh, you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, so, you know, thanks for I, having oh. I stand on the shoulders of many, so I'll, I'll take some credit, but many before me have, have brought it to this level, and I've just tweaked it up a little a little bit more. So yeah. if people want to uh, to check out the show next year, if they didn't get a chance to come to this one, where online do they go? Uh, third Saturday of July, go online to 20th <coughs> Annual Woody's at the Beach. 20th Annual Woody's at the Beach. So we're the, this is the 19th right now. This is the 19th. Yeah, okay. And, uh, and I do understand that Peter Mullen just, uh, he and I just think the deal to bring his Hispano Suiza to Show next not year. bad, not, not bad. So bad. I'm sure that's going to cost you like six zeros. Though. <laughs> it's going to cost me a lot. Your support has meant to me uh, in keeping um, 
the, the train on the tracks, keeping the wheels on the wagon, and keeping everybody moving in the same direction. Thank you very much, Lawrence. Rosemary? This is the uh, perpetual trophy for the Wagon Master Award. I'm really proud to call Vicky my friend, and uh, more proud to hand him this year's Wagon Master. Yeah.